Most accounts of the origins of the sex worker movement reference organizations in the global north. In the Americas, however, the conception of prostitution as a form of labor started with a Caribbean collective of prostitutes who sought to organize politically to demand their rights as workers. In the late 1800s in Havana, Cuba, sex workers organized and published their own newspaper. They wrote about policies that impacted their lives as working women, and they envisioned a political party by and for sex workers. In this article, we highlight some contemporary advances, such as in Nicaragua, where the sex worker organization Girasoles de Nicaragua, Sunflowers of Nicaragua, has recently made headway in the struggle for awareness of their rights. Nicaragua is the first country in the world that has trained sex workers to resolve conflicts within their jurisdiction. They are officially trained and accredited by the Supreme Court of Justice as judicial facilitators. They resolve conflicts related to sex work and other community issues and strive to prevent and decrease violence. This conflict resolution model reduces caseloads in the courts and enhances communication between the justice system and sex workers. In 2018, in another part of Spanish-speaking America, a group of mostly trans sex workers in Santa Fe, Colombia, created a mural that later inspired a printed newspaper called La Esquina, The Corner. Staffed by trans sex workers, La Esquina is a media space where community members share information of local interest, such as how to avoid complications related to surgical procedures, get a job, how to make cheap meals, and how to take better care of their health. Funded by nonprofit organizations, La Esquina has a mural edition that is laminated and pasted to walls on street corners where sex workers congregate to wait for their clients. It also has a regular print edition that is distributed to brothels and other businesses in the area patronized by sex workers. La Esquina addresses the interests, needs, and empowerment of a disadvantaged community that is doubly discriminated against for being trans and sex workers. La Esquina offers the opportunity to visually communicate stories. Without La Esquina, those stories would not be told. In Argentina, the sex worker organization AMAR has cleverly used public spaces to drive home a political message. The organization started an innovative campaign in 2013 by adorning walls with murals on various street corners in Buenos Aires. Depicting women on one side and children on the other, the visual campaign stressed that 86% of Argentine sex workers are mothers, bringing attention to the fact that sex workers are women with family obligations and connections. These are women who are integrated into their community as mothers and breadwinners. The murals not only facilitated neighborhood discussions and awareness, but this labor rights campaign also received widespread media attention, even winning an international prize from a public relations and communications magazine. Ahmad produced another impactful intervention in the form of a public sphere performance where activists randomly distributed fake invoices for sexual services rendered, complete with price details. The campaign also targeted journalists, opinion leaders, and politicians, among others. The objective was to make evident that sexual services involve a financial transaction similar to other enterprises with obligations and rights. Finally, Jacqueline Montero is the president of Modemo, a sex worker organization in the Dominican Republic and an elected official in the Congress of the Dominican Republic. These are only a few examples. All over Latin America and the Caribbean, sex workers are organizing to raise awareness and demand their human rights.